Anamu founded Metrics Garden Labs and has experience launching and scaling fintech startups in emerging markets such as Branch International and Revolut. Her areas of expertise are operations, product, and strategy. She has been working in impact evaluation in the Web3 space for over a year, building on top of her past Web2 grants experience. So with that, let me introduce Laura. Laura, the mic is yours and the floor is yours. Welcome. I'm really excited to share with you more on the platform that we've been building, which is called Impact Partner. In a nutshell, what we're building is a platform so that you can generate freely accessible and standardized impact data to inform the strategy that impact creators are developing for their own initiatives and for funders that are looking to support these initiatives. As I'm sure you all know, not all impact is created the same and therefore cannot and should it be measured with the same tools. As I, as Kelly mentioned on my intro, I used to work with the Canada Fund and supporting several different NGOs in Mexico so that we could fund tons of different initiatives that they have in the country. And one of the main challenges that we had and that we supported them with was identifying how do they measure what they are contributing in their different lines and what is the data that's best to be shared with the Canada Fund so that we could do a good assessment and so that we could continue funding them. And we quickly identified that these were all different groups that were trying to achieve different goals and therefore needed different resources and different metrics to measure what is the success that they were having. Right. And it's very important that we have different initiatives that are generating different contribution, contributions because this is all needed for ecosystems and for projects to thrive. As I mentioned, all of these different projects will have different goals, they will have different outputs, different audiences that they're trying to reach or enable. And it is based on this that their positive outcomes can be measured and then evaluated. With the blockchain ecosystem, we've seen that they've also identified the relevance to fund a diversity of initiatives, ranging from open source software to educational initiatives. Several of this ecosystem have their own governance, so also financing these governance initiatives and for people to learn how to interact with them at a different level, not only the technical one, has become very important. And they are dedicating significant resources. As Ray mentioned, Raymond mentioned as well, this is over 3 billion years that we're talking about that have already been earmarked for them. And it's also very important to mention that context matters. If we go to the Funders and impact generators have target audiences, and it is based on their ability to reach them that they can define how successful their strategies have been at generating the impact for those that they care about the most. Often this data doesn't exist, or it is built and captured with tools that make it difficult for others to trust it. And it is for that reason that we build Impact Garden. Impact Garden is a platform that enables you to generate unalterable, verifiable, qualitative data on benefits that have been derived from a contribution. We're looking for three different audiences to leverage this data once it has already been created. We're looking for impact generators to use it so that they can improve the work that they are doing, they can design better strategies and be more efficient with the resources they have. We know that often impact generators are very strapped on the resources that they have, both in human resources, financial resources, and even attention from their funders and the people that are contributing to their efforts. Uh, so we want to make sure that they are able to do a good work. Uh, there's also users and then the funders. So on our platform, impact generators are able to first claim password um, so that no other person can claim it for them. Second, they're able to receive feedback so that they can use this to inform their strategies and be more efficient when they are allocating their resources. And they can also be rewarded for the work that they've been doing and so that they can continue generating that. On our platform, projects and individuals are able to create a profile and they can then include all the past contributions that they've done either to different ecosystems or to different projects and spaces. And 
on the back side of things, what we're doing is we're registering all of this information on chain so that no one can modify it or reclaim it. People are then able to reference it and verify its authenticity. Then on our second set of our audiences, we've got the users. So when users log in to the platform and register on the platform, they are able to provide context on the value that they've received for contribution. They are going to be able to highlight what was worth their time and what should be done differently. With this information, impact generators are then able to know how efficient their work has been, if their past strategies have been good, and what they need to improve so that they are able to first reach their goal audiences, but also able to take the impact that they are generating to the next level. On the platform, users are able to reach and provide descriptive insights into how they are benefiting from a specific contribution. And through this, they are enriching the data that is available for decision-making, both from impact generators, from funders, and also from other people in their community that might benefit from the contributions that they are already we start creating webs of interconnected information, given that all of these insights are linked and are referencing a specific contribution and a specific contributor. This means that we can map all of these relations and how people and users are specifically benefiting from the contributions. And not only are we able to map it, but everyone is able to map it because this information lives on chain. And then lastly, funders are able to create, with this information, funders are able to create tailored funder strategies. Through this, they can make better incentives out there for the people that belong to their ecosystems, or even just for the type of contributions that they would like to see more of in their own spaces, whether it's a project, or it's a community. Uh, and therefore, they are also going to be able to get a better return on their investment. So on our platform, funders are able to filter the insights that have been provided by users based on the user attributes that are relevant to them. Probably if I'm a funder that is looking to grow a particular ecosystem, or I want to see more people using a specific DAP, a, sp a specific application, I probably only care about the people that are in that space. Maybe I only want to see comments and information that have been generated by person, people that have a very specific profile. So through our platform, we're able to draw on these attributes. We're also able to generate some of those of the attributes from the users based on information that they are willing to share from their emails. And we are enabling funders to remove the noise so that they are able to make better decisions. And on the data side, this information is linked and referenced. So through the whole process, we're enabling traceability of who's benefiting from what are the attributes that these people have so that we know as we're looking at funding decisions, as we're looking at proving our strategies, are we actually reaching the target audience that we want to, that we want to generate impact for? Should we make any changes? And then we're also able to surface other additional data. Maybe we're generating impact for a very particular audience that we were not expecting to be providing either services or any benefits for. And we can then incorporate that as well into the strategies that we're building. So if you're interested in exploring how to get started in generating your own verifiable data and use it to improve your own strategies, or you want to talk about the technology that's enabling this process, Please feel free to reach out and we'd definitely need to hear from you.